Today we're going to be talking about gut health because I truly believe that all health starts in the gut. A healthy gut, a healthy mind, a healthy body. That is one area that it's so important to really focus on for preventing disease, but also overcoming and healing from disease. My name is Kimberly McIntyre. I want to welcome you if you're new to my channel. I want to thank you so much for dropping by. I hope you will stay. And if you are returning, I want to let you know how much I really do appreciate that. YouTube has become my passion. It's a great way for me to share with friends um, how to heal, you know, good foods to eat because being healthy, a lot of people think that that means boring and it's not boring it is the best place to be and gut health is actually my niche so some signs of gut issues and these are some things that you might not have thought about if you wake up in the morning and you, your stomach doesn't feel great maybe it feels gripey gassy bloated bad moods can be a sign of gut health issue if you don't sleep well at night if you wake up cranky or maybe it's hard for you to get out of the bed there's so many things that can be tied to gut health that people don't think about we store more serotonin in the gut than in the brain. Gut health is so incredibly important. When we start our health journey, that's really where we wanna start is nourishing the gut, nourishing it well. The gut can start to heal within as little as 72 hours. Now, just know that it can also undo itself just as fast. So you don't wanna just go through a day of gut healing foods, but to give you an idea of what that looks like and for you to continue that, and then really learning how to eat to nourish your body long-term so that you can have optimal health. And if you would like to hop on my website at entirehealing.com, I have a lot of information on there, a lot of articles that can help support the mission along with recipes. I coach in person and I also coach online. I have a 12 week course that helps you to go through all the things to let you know how to gain optimal health. And I have had people all the way from Florida over to Texas, Arizona, Utah, you name it, all the way across America come to me and go through my program. And the thing that is so encouraging is when you see someone come to you who can't get pregnant and once they have gone through your program and they've had a little bit of time living that lifestyle, they're getting ready to have a baby. So that's something that I was just blessed with not too long ago. Someone came to me, she had PCOS, she had been trying to get pregnant for years. And after about a year, she is pregnant. Um, she's getting ready to have baby any day now. So that's just blessed my soul. And that's not the first time that that has happened. Um, so many great things have happened along the way that I have really seen food, supplementation, you know, dealing with that mind, body, and soul approach really work. So I'm gonna take you through a day of nourishing foods. In a different video, I'm gonna talk about a little bit deeper subject of how to heal adding supplementation and some other things to kind of partner with. But first try foods because the Lord gave us food to prevent, to heal, and to nourish our bodies well, to give us everything that we need. So let's just go through this day and we'll talk about that. I first start with a half a gallon. I got a glass jar because that way I can see exactly how much water I need to drink. Where am I at during the day? Do I need to catch up? It, it's an awareness. So starting out your day with water, getting that water ready to set the tone for the day is making you mindful to tune in to how much water do you need to drink? And you really need about half your body weight in ounces. It's just kind of a good rule of thumb. But if you're eating super hydrating foods, that does count as well. If you're eating cucumbers and you're eating watermelon and things like that, that we're gonna build off of that. While we sleep, we are resting and we are detoxing. So throughout that process, when we wake up in the morning, we want to support that. So a great way to support that is starting the day with this drink. So in my morning drink, I use warm water because the warm water just helps the body to accept it a little quicker. It doesn't have to work near as hard. And then I use a lemon. I like to use half of a lemon fresh squeezed juice, high in vitamin C, actually alkalizing, and it helps to support digestion and healing. 
Next, I use between one and two teaspoons of apple cider vinegar. Apple cider vinegar, there's actually a book written on how many things that it can help with. Everything from migraines, gut health, shutting down heartburn, acid reflux. It helps also to alkalize the body. It helps to stimulate the liver to release stagnation. Great thing to have in your morning routine just to help support that gut health and get your body going for the day. And then I use aloe and I like to just cut off the outer layer and just use the inner filet. I throw it in my magic bullet or my neutral bullet just so I'm not drinking little bits of aloe because I really don't prefer that. And then I get on with my day. So then when I am actually hungry because I try to only eat when I'm hungry and stop when I'm full, which is a great rule of thumb to keep you the weight that God designed you to be. Then I'm on with my smoothie where I am using a frozen banana, frozen strawberries, frozen blueberries, and this is in the summertime. We wanna nourish our body according to the season. So if it's winter time, I'm not gonna be making cold foods. I'm gonna be warming up because that's what we need. And we also wanna eat what's in season. But in the summer, it's a great time to go for the smoothie and help cool the body down. But it also makes it pre-digested. So if we already have a little bit of a gut issue, then this is already pre-digested, so our body doesn't have to work near as hard. My favorite protein powder right now is Dr. Mercola's Vegan. I'm not vegan, but I love the flavor and I love the ingredients that are in there. I also love the Ancient Greens Super Greens, which helps, again, to support digestion, detoxification, has amazing ingredients. And I'm also using the Bulgarian yogurt. If you can find the Bulgarian yogurt, it is twice as high in probiotics. We want to help add a lot of probiotics to help them fight and grow and overcome the bad guys. Plus, it kind of helps make that smoothie a little bit creamy. And the Bulgarian is so high in probiotics, it's absolutely delicious flavor. I forgot to mention here that I also added spinach and topped it off with some coconut milk. Both are great for the digestive system where spinach can act as a prebiotic and coconut milk can actually coat the lining, acts like an electrolyte as well. So then I'm going to prepare a snack. So if I'm hungry later in the day between breakfast and dinner, I can have something healthy ready to go. So I'm just making some carrot sticks and celery sticks, and I'm going to dip that in some delicious hummus. You want to make sure that either you have made the hummus yourself or that you are getting a quality brand. Check your ingredients for sure, making sure that you know that that is clean ingredients because we're trying to heal the gut. After all, you want to make sure that everything is supporting that mission. I cut a lot so that I could go ahead and have some for later. I did a little bit of prep. I'm prepared for the next few days as well. And now it's time to prepare dinner. I absolutely love stuffed peppers and I will eat them until they are all gone. And what I mean by that is lovely leftovers and I am happy to have them for lunch the next day. I make several so that I can continue to eat them for a few days. I like to use a variety of color and typically I will buy the ones that are red, yellow, and green. Make sure that you are using pasture raised 100% grass fed beef. I have videos on this to kind of explain why that is super important and it makes a complete difference. I walked the fields of Walker Farms with Miss Walker who had cancer. Her husband is a pulmonary doctor and they already had a farm, but as soon as she got cancer, he started doing a lot of research and he found that grass fed pasture raised beef cures cancer. She has been cancer free for many years now due to the fact that they made that switch. So can grass fed beef play a big role in healing? Absolutely, and it's been tried and true. So the first thing that I do is I go ahead and prepare my rice and I have a rice steamer, which is just easy. You put your rice and your water in, pop on that top, let it go. And then when it flips off, it will keep it warm. So if you forget about it, it doesn't even matter. But I put in more than I need because I'm gonna use this for several dishes throughout the week. Putting that in my prep day so that I'm prepared for the week because it's those things that take the longest that really can stump us and get us going through the McDonald's drive through But if we know that we already have the thing that takes the longest, it's really easy to pair a few things together with rice and make a meal. And then the next thing I do is I go ahead and I chop my peppers in half. And what I used to do is I would cut the top off and take that 
out and stuff it that way. But for some reason, I just really prefer to just cut them in half and stuff them like that. And I'm gonna brush them with olive oil. Of course, I love the palmetto olive oil and I use the garlic infused. Right, I'll put a discount code for you in the link below. If this is the first time you've ever ordered it, you'll save 15%. I went ahead and got my onions and garlic ready and I just diced the onions, diced the garlic, and now it's time to saute. And I start with about a tablespoon of olive oil in the pan and I'm going to heat the onions and the garlic just until they start to break down. And then I'm gonna add the beef. Once we add the beef, I'm going to add salt and pepper. I certainly use sea salt, my favorite is Redmond's. And then cracked pepper. I'm gonna use a little bit of garlic powder just to get that seasoned nicely. a can of diced tomatoes, and I really like the Muir Glen. Back in the day, when my mom used to make stuffed peppers, she would use V8 juice, and later I found out that V8 juice isn't really that healthy. So I kind of mimicked that with the diced tomatoes and a little bit of ketchup. So my ketchup is organic. Make sure you check your ingredients to make sure that that is clean as well. Now my rice is ready, so I went ahead and added a cup and a half of rice. Here I am using a can of drained organic corn. You can use frozen, you can use fresh. Make sure it's organic, but that's what I had on hand was a can, and so I'm okay with that. And then I added oregano and some parsley. Stir it up well until all of the seasoning and everything is just really incorporated. Now the peppers are ready and I just turn them over, go ahead and stuff them. And if there's any of the beef left over, I just pour it all on top. And then we just top it with Parmesan cheese, which gives it a nice flavor and a little bit of crunch. I'm gonna bake that at 350 for about 30 minutes. And now it's time to go ahead and make dessert. And I'm gonna make a few of these so that I have leftovers for the rest of the week. I'm the only one, it's just me and my husband and he doesn't eat these, so all for me. So I am taking apples and I make it really simple because I love them and it satisfies my sweet craving. I take out the center, I fill it with butter and yes, butter is healing, butter is healthy. I have another video that talks about that as well. And then I just add a little bit of nutmeg and cinnamon. And, and to me, if you're, if you're getting your apples at the right season, they are sweet all by themselves. And then cinnamon actually kind of tricks our taste buds into thinking that it's sweet. So it's enough for me. If that's not enough for you, you could drizzle a little bit of honey on top and that would be okay, especially if it's local but another healing food to end your night. And this way you feel like you've had dessert and you can go to bed feeling very satisfied. And both of these are great for your gut. Herbs and spices are very healing. So we wanna get those into our life. Now the peppers are done and I was really hungry and they tasted so amazing. I'm not always hungry for dessert, but that night I was. It was a long day and I had that apple and it was absolutely delicious. I wanna thank you guys so much for watching and if you don't mind, if you will hit that subscribe button if you haven't already and if you'll hit the notification bell so that you'll be notified every time that I have a new video come out. And also, if you need a little bit more support because you've got some gut health issues or you just wanna be in it for learning optimal health or prevention or even how to overcome certain things, you can look at my website, you can read all about the program and everything that's included, and you can fill out an intake form and I'll get back to you ASAP. Thank you guys so much for watching and you guys have a great day. Say be healthy. Give me a kiss. Mwah. Give me a kiss. Mwah.